This is NASA Road, a street of small and medium enterprises dealing in printing and IT-related services. Mr. Peter Mwemembezi operates a medium printing business along NASA Road where he makes a living. He has been in the business for now 15 years. Just like others, his business is one of those medium enterprises directly affected by the budgetary cuts as government moves to reduce expenditure. We were already uh, suffering from uh, COVID, the, the, uh, this uh, close down of uh, most businesses for now a year. Uh, and then, then this uh, government uh, uh, decision to scale down on uh, some of these activities comes in. Uh, definitely, it is. Uh, <laughs> it has made the the. the the problem escalates. GAPED accelerated its move to cut what it calls consumptive expenditure from things like gift diaries to workshops and related activities. Interestingly, this is one of the best areas government expenditure reaches SMEs. So, in principle, government seeking to reduce expenditure is a good thing. However, as a federation, we are concerned on the where. Okay? Uh, we believe that government should have started by re-examining the cost of public expenditure. This would have been the easiest. If you say we cut printing yet, printers are suffering and needs to be resus need, need to be resuscitated at this time, it may not be the best move. So the argument now is where should we start? And our recommendation is that the starting should be on the cost of public administration. Studies show that SMEs are the key drivers in engineering, innovation, wealth and job creation. This segment of the economy is currently responsible for more than 2.5 million jobs. It also accounts for 90% of the entire private sector with more than 80% of manufactured output contributing 18% of GDP. We need to reprioritize what we are budgeting. We need to, to reprioritize and look at what is it that we should be spending our money on that is going to make change happen, especially in the livelihoods of our people, but also ensuring that our businesses survive and grow because it's these businesses that will provide employment, that will provide a future for this country by broadening the tax base. Yeah, much as we have been depending on our government for business, and maybe NGOs. It is also true. It is also true that uh, a lot of printed stationery is imported. It comes from abroad. So that's why, actually, as Bubu, uh, not as Bubu, but as the Printers Association, we are advocating for 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 uh, some of these materials be printed from here. We have the capacity. Some SMEs are going to survive, others are not going to survive, uh, definitely. And it's going to be tough, and people must appreciate that this pandemic, that negative impacts this pandemic are going to stay with us for between four to five years. Okay? So it means this is not something that's going to go away soon. It means government will keep tightening its belt because revenue will kind of come down. And also businesses themselves will see diminished demand, diminished revenues and so on. And this will affect the ability to, to, to be profitable. So I think businesses need to be helped to become resilient in the face of COVID-19. Figures obtained from the Ministry of Finance show that consumptive expenditure budget has been cut down to 319.5 billion shillings with expected saving of 351.6 billion shillings. Richard Lyombia, NTV Business.